What's up, my soul stars? How are you? I hope that you're having an amazing week. And I'm just so looking forward to sharing my love, my light with you here at the same spot right here today. It's Sunday. I'm just listening to some amazing music, just enjoying my evening. And, um, shut that off. But, um, and I just have an amazing message for you. I am going to kind of change my tone a little bit. Um, uh, one thing that I am huge on, obviously, is love. That is a huge and the first message that is within my soul stars. And so tonight I have a very special angel card reading for you. But the first thing that I did want to share with you is, um, yeah, my hair. So lovely changes. It's like a little fro, curly fro right now, but um, I'm excited. There are some things in life that you just have to do in order to totally release where you are at and where you're trying to move forward and go. And once you make that shift for yourself, that um, awakening that occurs and happens, amazing things, just doors, opportunities, Life just blossoms, and it's so great. So I am excited to share this journey with you and to let you know that um, my journey has been a long one, but it's been amazing. And so uh, cutting my hair off has just been um, freeing, and I'm planning to obviously grow it out <laughs> and so um, into more of a natural state. Um, you know, I've taken off my uh, curly nails. I don't go and get my, you know, curlics, the long nails anymore. I love it, but I am a manicure, pedicure kind of girl anyways. So now I just get pampered, but I get pampered, and it's totally me from, you know, head to toe. And so you must take care of yourself. So important. So anyways, I want to go ahead and move on to your beautiful message. This is actually going to be kind of um, just a tad bit different than how I do my other one. Usually I share a couple of cards with you. It could be about three. But this time I actually have a storyboard for you to tell you. And I just want to be able to say a little prayer for you. So divine love and light, we ask in that we call upon you all Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, Shamuel, and we help those who are out there in the world sharing our message and our love that you guide them, protect them, and give them so much love and opportunity and help them to see the messages that they need to see. So, that's this done. Um, I have my mermaid and goddess cards that I'm going to show, and I know it's a lot, but we'll get through it. So there's a reason and a purpose, of course, to everything that I do. And so I'm going to start with my goddess cards first. This is for, um, the goddess cards are obviously man or female, so, you know, guys, please, um, you know, all messages are, you know, yin and yang, you know, masculine, feminine energy. So I just send that love out to everybody. First card is Aphrodite, which is the inner god or goddess. And awaken the goddess within you or God um, through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. This is so amazing. I love Aphrodite. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but she was a Greek goddess. So please do your research. Um, they are there for a reason. And this is such a blessing because we do need to awaken our souls. We need to awaken ourselves. And some people are like, okay, well, how do you do that? And obviously it's with you. You come first. So whether it's having some playtime, um, and literally having some pamper time, some self-care, walking out in nature, or appreciating just your inner divinity and being in just the moment. So I hope that you awaken your soul and yourself. Next card is quiet time. So it aligns. Okay. And it says take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. This is really important and I actually have a message, a biblical message to go 
with you um, on this. And it's from Joshua 1 8. And it says, it talks about meditating. Meditate day and night so you may be careful to do everything written in it, whatever messages you receive within your meditation. Um, and then you will be prosperous and successful. Spend some quiet time alone. Have that time to take for you to meditate. Put you first. Remember, open that inner God or that inner goddess within your soul. Next message is fertility. I was just actually talking to someone um, today in regards to fertility. And this card says, it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So even though this is a fertility card, it may mean prego, you know, pregnancy if you're trying to get pregnant. This is, this is a confirmation for you. Um, or if you're trying to birth new ideas and a new project, a new business venture, now is the time. Give birth to what you are going to be uh, moving forward on, and it's time. So many blessings and love to you for those who are seeking little bambinos or a new project in business or with work. So much love. And the next one is Don't Back Down. This is the goddess Bridget. Um, she's a Celtic goddess. And it says, stand up for what you believe is right. Now is the time to stand up for what you not only believe in, but um, it's we are in a very, very sensitive movement on this earth. Whether you've seen Pray for Peace, um, you know, or I Am Peace for Meditation, um, you know, there's so much going on in this world, but now is not the time to back down. So you make sure that you stand up for whatever you believe in. That goes to children, it goes to young adults, adults, whoever you are, stand up for what is right. You have every right to do so. So stand in your power. Next card is Leap of Faith. Um, again, if you are trying to birth a new venture, a new idea, um, wherever you are in your life, Right now is the time to take that leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into your action. So move forward, okay? And don't back down. Next card is my favorite, Divine Passion. And this is the Hawaiian goddess, and uh, Pele. And um, it says, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's truest desire? I'm going to come back to this card because I want to get into more discussion about passion, about heart, about love. So more to come on this, but follow your true desire. And then coming down to these lovely, beautiful mermaid cards. So self-forgiveness. So while you're taking some time out in your week, out in nature, um, it's really important that as you self-reflect that you also remember self-forgiveness. Every single day we happen to make different changes in our lives, we make mistakes, we get up, we get down, um, but please remember that as you're forgiving someone else, also reflect on within yourself what you need to forgive yourself on. And so um, let go of the old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. So this is such another blessing of a card to share with you in your week, and I hope that that resonates with you. You're love, you're luminous, you are forgiven. Next card is Healing Heart. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. I keep mentioning this to so many people. If you are sensitive to energy and you find yourself like moving in a certain direction, trust your instinct, okay? If you can walk in a room and make a huge difference to somebody's day just by showing up, just by giving that positive energy and that love and that space and it's genuine and sincere, 
you are a healer. So follow your gut instinct, look into it, because we need more light workers like you in this world. And I promise we're almost done. I love you guys. Um, alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. So again, whether it's the fertility card, whether it's the um, you know energy healing card, you do have the Midas touch. You have the power to make a difference and to make the change. Use your time wisely. Take that time out to have that quiet time, to reflect, to start your new ideas, projects, to build that creativity, but you have the Midas touch. Believe in yourself that everything that you do turns to gold. And yes, there's an old school song to that, but we're not going to go there. So, um, the next card is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. I love this because um, there are so many wonderful things going on in this world amongst the negative, but I hope that within your day, within your hour, your minute, your seconds, that if you are wondering about something that's positive, trust your instincts. It's yes. Even if it's negative, that's okay. That is meant for you to learn something. But trust it because it's yes. Everybody has intuition. Women have it just a little bit more than guys. Sorry, guys. Um, but follow it because it's a blessing. And the last card is stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So in this picture, I love this because there's a castle in the distance, there's a man, and then there's a woman who's a mermaid in the water and some dolphins in the background. But I love this. Keep your eye on the goal. Keep your eye on the prize. If it's the castle, the freaking dolphins, or the man in the distance, um, or the man looking at the woman in the distance, whatever it may be in your hopes, your goals, and your dreams, stay optimistic. Don't give up. Sometimes it gets really rough and it gets really hard out there, but you are loved, you are light, and you are luminous. Love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video.